catch up with Blondie. It's one of downtown St. Louis's newest hot spots. And I'm here with Kathleen McGowan. Hi. <laughs> Hi. This is such a cool place. Thank you. Thank you very much. So tell me what exactly is Blondie's? What do you sell here? Uh, Blondie's is a couple things. Monday through Friday during the day, we're kind of like a, an, a very upscale bread company. You order at the counter, you pick up your coffee or your drink, and you doctor it up at our self-service counter. And then um, you sit down and we'll run your food to you. After 4 p.m., we kind of shut down the quick service counter and we turn into more of a swanky wine bar. We dim the lights, change the music up a little bit, and uh, offer a lot of small plates and uh, 30 wines by the glass. A, a full menu selection full, of food? Full menu selection of food, yes, for, for full bar. This is a big new addition to this block here uh, on Washington Avenue. You're in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, that's part of the family development, the McGowan brothers. I, I am part of the McGowan family for sure, and uh, my brothers have been developers on Washington Ave for over 12 years now, and uh, I have lived in the, the their very first building. In fact, I'm the second person to ever buy a loft from them. But this is my first venture with my brothers, and uh, I've. I've seen so much revitalization downtown. I love this city. I, I love that 12 years ago I was the only person jogging around the arch and now you see moms with babies, you see whole families, you see tons of young people jogging and walking around. And uh, I, I just saw the neighborhood grow and I thought, you know, I think there's an opportunity here for me to get involved and become an entrepreneur and I wanted to put a little bit of a feminine spin on a place. Tell me about the name. The name, naming a restaurant can be such a challenge. Uh, we must have had a hundred names and we couldn't agree on them. <laughs> and uh, my brother flippantly threw out an old family nickname. My father, when I was little, I was blonde and he always called me his little blonde bomber. In fact, he still does, even though my hair has changed colors. And Tim threw it out and I thought, you know, that's a warm name. It could work, uh, but I wanted it to have a concept and to match our theme. And since I'm not going to dye my hair blonde, we decided to decorate this in all blonde colors and call this our Blonde Bomber. So tell me about what's on the menu that's related to blonde. Tying in with that, that well, related to blondes, here is actually a new small plate we just added to the menu. It's a pork tenderloin served on top of a polenta cake with uh, spinach, and it's topped with our mustarda chutney. So it gives it just a little bit of sweetness to go with the pork. It's delicious. Um, this one here is called our Mac Daddy Cheese and Charcuterie Plate. We offer three different uh, types of charcuterie. They are actually uh, from a locally sourced from Saloon Bay Du. And the customer can pick uh, three different cheeses that they like on the plate. We serve it with a bunch of accoutrements like cornichons, preserved lemons, our in-house baked olives, a fig tamponade, mustarda chutney and a balsamic cipollini and of course it comes with some crostinis and then for lunchtime this is our most popular sandwich it's called the shawnee pawnee and it's got turkey and pesto sauce and avocado and lettuce and bacon um, comes on a, a honey wheat bread and we serve it with your choice of chips or fruit and the chips are actually also locally sourced from Spud Masters. And then uh, for breakfast, we do lots of fun things, but one of our signature items is our popover. And this popover is, uh, it's a type of bread that's actually, when you open it up, it's hollow inside. And you can um, spread our strawberry butter or apple butter or honey lime butter. Is this really becoming a neighborhood place then? Oh yeah, I think even in the last five years, it's definitely been, um, a neighborhood it's it's a small community but everyone really knows pretty much everyone I can't walk one block down the street without seeing about 10 people I know so it's like family down here it's so convenient to not have to drive very often well I'm really glad that you're downtown you have brought this corner to life because the space has been vacant for a number of years it has been vacant for about four years now and so. what's cool about your design too is that you've got sort of nooks and crannies where people can sort of go if they need to have a private meeting or they want to sit by the fireplace. But it's still very transparent and open. You've got big windows out on, on Washington. Absolutely. And we intend to constantly improve Blondie's Coffee and Wine Bar. In the spring, we'd like to have a grand opening. We're going to put awnings all around the corner space and a huge uh, sidewalk cafe. So we'll more than double our capacity and uh, 
we're really looking forward to that as well. And you're doing a couple special promotions during the week? Uh, yes, we uh, intend to have a promotion every day of the week, but currently on Wednesdays we are running uh, a Wine Wednesday. So we'll have a featured red wine, a featured white wine for $4 a glass all day long. So you can come in for lunch and have wine, or you can come in for dinner and have wine, or you can do both. And then uh, on Thursdays, every night from 10 p.m. to midnight, we run uh, buy one dessert, get one free. Kind of heavy on the desserts. We get a lot of uh, people come in for desserts late night, so we wanted to do something to thank them for their patronage. Well, it's so nice to have more businesses downtown that are giving people more reasons to stay longer. You know, we've got the Peabody Opera House now, so I imagine you're seeing some folks come in after the after some of the big shows. We, so. do, we do, and we get a lot of people after the symphony, believe it or not, uh, the shows when there's been conventions. We've been getting some wonderful people from other cities, so it's just been great. We've been supported by the locals and the visitors and uh, just receiving really, really good reviews. Well, congratulations Thank and you. welcome to downtown. Thank you so much. <laughs>